And then they enter the school, and what did you want them to emerge with at the end of their three or four years? Well, uh, two things, really. I mean, one of them was um, the notion that they shouldn't come, come away from the school after their three years of study um, as anything less than a complete professional. Because it is, on a certain level, a conservatory. It's not a university. It's, you have to, it's a trade school at a certain level. You have to come away being a, an accomplished technician, uh, whatever it is. You know, you have to be a professional. Uh, I forget who it was, somebody great, another Czech probably, who said, uh, le métier a besoin de l'art, plus que l'art a besoin du métier, translated means craft needs, no, art needs craft more than craft needs art. Does it make some kind of sense? Yeah. And so that was my big thing. I, I'd lay that on them early, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. There is a truism in that. That otherwise you just exist as a, maybe a conceptual artist who never really does it, but can write the idea down on a card. And the card with the idea on it is as important as the work of art. Right. A la Damien Hirst or something. Right. But in the theater, if you're a visual artist and a theater designer, it has, to be, it has to be the word made flesh. You actually have to produce something. So to be just conceptual isn't, isn't enough. But you still need that capacity to conceptualize. And I would get that really from various other designers and directors that I would come in during their three-year period of study uh, to, to work with those kids on project work, con concept projects for plays that we'd select or, you know, a certain repertoire. 